The thing that David Lynch hits on in Blue Velvet that hadn't appeared as much in the rest of his films is that sense of hyper-reality in his movies. It's this weird time period. You don't quite know when it is. It's got those leave it to beaver vibes when everything's normal. And it makes the unusual moments in the film stick out so much more. Movies like Blue Velvet all show that there's this strange aura around small towns and old time living. It was reminding you that crime still existed then, prejudice existed then, and how small town life wasn't always what it was cracked up to be. Hey, you wanna go for a ride? No thanks. No thanks? What, what, what does that mean? I don't wanna go. Go where? For a ride. A ride? Hell, that's a good idea. Okay, let's go. When it comes to Dennis Hopper in Blue Velvet, he is also finding that crazy manic energy within himself to create Frank Booth. The interesting thing about Frank Booth as a character is it was offered to a lot of people who turned it down because they found it just too dark, too unusual. But Dennis Hopper walked in and said, cast me, I'm Frank. He was the one guy that was like, oh no, this is me, I got this. You're like me. Blue Velvet is also a huge break for Isabella Rossellini. Uh, she'd been a model before, she'd acted a bit in foreign films, but this role really launched her career. It was originally written with Debbie Harry in mind, but Debbie Harry, after Videodrome, didn't want to be typecast as a sort of sexual weirdo. And Isabella Rossellini's willingness to play such an unusual role was huge. She defined herself as this interesting and artistic performer who is willing to push boundaries and willing to just make herself look insane on screen. I'm not crazy. I know the difference between right and wrong. It was a movie that a lot of the establishment didn't get, and I think that that's partially because people didn't get the joke. David Lynch didn't see this as reality. He saw it as this sort of surreal version of small town life that was twisted and dark and a metaphor. And we now know that because we know David Lynch, but at the time it was totally new.